All righty. Welcome everyone to the first uh, kind of modding video that I'm going to do for Pavlov uh, VR. I'm just going to show you briefly how to install uh, the necessary things in order to start modding for Pavlov. And in this example, I'm going to be using Pavlov Shack. So number one, make sure you have a, a laptop that can, or a laptop or a computer that can uh, accommodate this stuff. Uh, I'm using a mobile workstation with quite a bit of RAM, uh, pretty average processor and a built-in A5000 GPU. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have Epic Games Launcher installed. That's pretty important. And once you have that installed, you're going to navigate to Unreal Engine. You're going to go to Library. And usually this is going to be um, blank. There will be like an option to install like the latest one. You don't want to do that. You want to install specifically 5.1.1. So you press this little uh, plus button here. And then you would click the drop down menu. And since I already have 511 installed, it would obviously be in between these two. But you would select that and you're going to install it. Uh, it will take a while, um, depending on your computer specs and such. Once you have 511 installed, you're then going to want to go to the bankrupt GitHub um, under bankrupt games. And you're going to want to look at the Pavlov VR mod kit. Now, this is where it's going to vary depending on whether you're developing for PC or if you're developing for Shack. And that's going to be the different branches. Uh, in this case, this is 5.1.1. This is the one that they use for PC now, I guess, mainly. I don't know if you can still make Shack with like Shack maps with it, but I imagine probably not since they've already moved to Mod Kit 3. If you're going to be working on PC, you're going to get 5.1.1. If you're developing for Shack, make sure you select the Shack branch. Uh, and the same thing, you're going to go to the code, you're going to click download zip and you'll have this in a zip file. You'll then need to unpack said zip file. So I put mine in documents. Uh, you put it wherever you want, um, but you're gonna unpack it and you're gonna put it somewhere where you'll remember. And you'll have this neat little U project file. This is a pretty easy way to just jump right into it without anything, just go to this. Uh, if this isn't associated, make sure that you set it to do so on the Unreal Engine uh, or on Epic Games Launcher for Unreal Engine. Make sure that you do that. If not, it's not a big deal. You just you can right click and you could do uh, like an open with and you can go find where your Unreal Engine is installed and just select that executable. But usually it's easier to just go in here if you have it already set to associate you project files uh, with Unreal Engine. So I've already opened mine up, but you'll go ahead and open yours up and you'll be introduced to basically this stuff and it's gonna be a lot. So the first thing you'll have to do is you will have to create an account with Mod.io. Uh, that's where a lot of this stuff's gonna get hosted. Uh, again, for this this series of tutorials, we are using ModKit 3.0. Uh, it's subject to change, of course, so you know, update as necessary, and I will try to do my best to keep these videos updated as well. So you're going to first log into Mod.io. Uh, you will have to, like I'm obviously logged in already. I don't want to log out and show all that important stuff, you know, since that's kind of private stuff. Don't share that, obviously. Uh, but once you get logged in, you create your Mod.io and all that stuff, you're going to go into Create Mod. And we're going to create this called, uh, you can create whatever you want to be called. Uh, and you can change the name later. It's important to remember that the name is not set in stone. In fact, most of this information is going to change uh, once you edit your mod IO uh, file, but we'll get to that. So I'm just going to call this tutorial videos, uh, mod summary. Uh, modding is cool. Now, if you want to create these, uh, like a mod or a game mode, you totally can. There's a big documentation, uh, like PDF that was given out. Uh, you can just go look for it on their Discord or something. But in these tutorials, we're just going to be focused on the map because you can really just include both of these into a map and make it all self-sustaining. But if you want to create a game mode specifically or a mod that you can use between stuff, you obviously would select these and you'd go from there. For the sake of these tutorials, we're going to be doing maps. So we're going to create it, and there we go, created mod 3.5 something, something crap. All right, cool. Now, you can close this window, and if you ever need to bring that window back up, you're going to go up to Window, and you'll go to Pavlov Workshop. That'll bring this window back up if you ever lose it. All right, so you'll notice that now we're in a new directory. We have an all plugins and then this number. This is our user-generated content, and this is my specific folder for it. So if you ever need to find that, you'll uh, always navigate to plugins. There's a couple of ways to do that. Um, this list over here gets kind of messy, but 
you always want to find the plugins folder, open that up, and then find the UGC that corresponds with that. Obviously, we just created a new one, so mine's going to be the latest one. Yours may, you may have created a couple already, or you may not have, but yeah. Now, it's important to notice, or important to note that with these UGCs, anything in your map that you want that's custom needs to be in this folder. If it is not, it is going to create a lot of problems. So, well, now that we've figured out all that stuff, we're going to go ahead and end off this video for setup and catch us in the next video for learning how to create a map and such or whatever we do.